Welcome. I am Mary Mazur. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. This episode is the real reason people reject their true selves. Ooh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. What is the real reason people reject their true selves? Huh? Oh, all right. So I uh, like to be called Mahana and I am an igniter. I am a spiritual connector and a guide and I help my own self, of course, every day. And I'll be sharing with you that uh, in this talk today, how I easily am able to help myself uh, be one with my true self instead of rejecting it. And I will be, I'm here as a guide for you and a spiritual connector for you so that you can begin to do that too, to let go of rejecting your true self and actually accepting your true self, embodying your true self, wondering who that is and what that is, discovering what that is, embracing it, becoming one with it, living uh, one as a spiritual being, having a human experience. So this is the gift today. Okay. Ooh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So why do people reject their true selves? Well, uh, huh. coming here on earth, uh, we all come here to experience earth so if we can just imagine what we're going to be inviting here and my spirit team talks through me so you get to um have all of beautiful spiritual beings speaking through uh, mahana's voice here uh that and, and it's here for you so any questions you might have any uh, resistance or guarding or uh, doubting things like that we're actually going to be helping you with all of those pieces so we welcome all of them okay and we're going to be inviting you uh, huh, when you hear whatever is said here um, as an invitation for you, as a gift for you. And allow yourself to feel, to notice, to be curious about, and to imagine. And when you can dance in this way, this is going to help you greatly so that you can actually access your true self, uh, really discover who you are, that you actually are a divine spiritual being having this human experience. Okay, so that's the first one. When people reject uh, their true selves, it's because uh, at some level, at the spirit level, you agree to come being born uh, in the third dimension, especially in the 20th century, where you agree to embody all of your parents' beliefs, all of your society and cultural beliefs, and even religious beliefs. Uh, that is the template that we do here as a human. The first seven years of our lives, zero to seven years of our lives, we get fully imprinted with the beliefs, which in the what the beliefs contain is the meanings, the definitions of things. And it is here for us to live and uh, at the uh, hmm, most basic level to survive. So at the first level is survival level because, right, we are ingrained even in our nervous system to respond in a way that will keep us alive, which is actually excellent. It's actually a very important uh, tool uh, way to be uh, because it keeps us alive. That's actually excellent and really good. <laughs> what happens for many of us, though, is many of us were born at a time when there was a lot of fear in the home and fear either in either parents or even siblings that you as a little baby embodied. I embodied as a little baby. So I'll share my story and then you have your own story. We all have our own stories. I was born in 1968 during the civil rights crisis in America in Washington, D.C., when people were burning down streets. So the African Americans at the time were standing up for the rights, know that they're equals, know that they deserve to be equal, especially in America, and they were standing up for their rights. And in doing that, there was a lot of violence and a lot of fear. And I was growing in my mom's belly while that was happening. Yes. And guess what? I agreed to be born that way. I agreed to have my mom and dad. And I, and I know that now I didn't know that back then. Absolutely not. Most people would never admit to that. Like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't admit that, you know, I had these, you know, interesting parents or crappy parents or dysfunctional <laughs> family life or home. You know, most people would, would deny that because it doesn't make sense. Right. You're like, why would I choose that for myself? Right. <laughs> so if you can just imagine, we're going to use that word. Imagine if you can just imagine you actually are, Hmm aspect of the I am presence, just imagine if you are, and that you agree just like a sun ray to the sun, you agree to be one of the sun rays here on earth to help greatly. And actually you are very important here. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. So you are very important, very vital. Most people don't even 
resonate or believe that at the subconscious level, and that's okay. And with the gift, I'll be talking about the gifts that I offer. The primary one is Psyche. It uh, helps you with reprogramming this within yourself at the subconscious level of the mind. I am one of the certified Psyche instructors across the world. There's 35 of us. And it is one of the most precious gifts you can, you can actually use and receive, whether you work with a facilitator one-on-one -on -one, or whether you come to a workshop and learn it for yourself and use it for yourself. And you can do both. How about that? <laughs> so just imagine that you may have rejected uh, your true self, just like I did when I was born as a little baby, while they were burning down streets, while it was very scary for my mom and even my dad, my dad was a Marine, but my mom, especially her fearful energy of raising me as a new little baby. And she actually had 10 other kids. So I'm baby number 11. How nutty is that? <laughs> yeah. And of course, as a mother, mother, and father, we want to make sure our children are safe and well. And yet at that time, it didn't feel safe at all. So what I embodied at the subconscious level um, within my makeup for this lifetime at that teeny tiny little stage of being a brand new baby is that it's not safe here. Nope. I, my system did not believe that. And I also embodied that I uh, agree to disconnect from my divine. I am presence knowing that I'm one of one of uh, aspects of divinity. No, I just like, Ooh, came in here with a clean slate to say, okay, who well, who am I? Right. And I got embodied the beliefs that my parents had about me and my siblings had about me. And then that's how I created my identity. These first two years of life, you actually literally create your self identity. And uh, thank goodness there has been uh, great research done uh, for brain waves. Our brain waves run at the slowest rate, uh, zero to two years old in the Delta brain wave. So as an adult with our Delta brain waves, while we're sleeping, we are sleeping in our deepest sleep. It's actually one of the best healing Times it's growing times. You grow the most of your newest cells and you are in a, a beautiful state because you're at your lowest level of consciousness. You're at the slowest rate that your brain is going. Uh, and everything it's almost like as if it's almost like that beautiful still water, that everything is just so tranquil and harmonious and still. Well, our first two years of life, that's how that's the vibration that our brains are actually uh, working at to completely download everything happening so we can learn very fast and greatly. And it is actually super helpful. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, it's great if you do have uh, people in your life that are loving and show loving examples or, you know, treat others well and uh, <laughs> follow the universal law principles, things like that. And many of us also got interesting parents too, <laughs> including myself. And I love my parents. My parents have passed on now and I am grateful for the experience I had. And, and I have accepted my own self-responsibility that I chose these parents. I chose the experience and it actually is here for us. So, cause what we can do is we can actually uh, hmm, go in our mastery of what we would love to learn and grow here in this lifetime. Cause we get to do that. And if you'd love to do that, it, 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 it lets life become fun and exciting. Otherwise, what's the point of being here? What is the point of life? And that's a great question to ask yourself. You know, why are you here? What is your purpose? You know, what helps you, what makes you come alive? What ignites you and gets you excited? What is it like when, if your topic comes up or something that you would love to uh, create or offer, experience, receive, what is that? That is one of the biggest questions you can ask yourself. Hmm. And how do you feel when you're in that? Really get into that vibration because that vibration is that vibration of an aspect of your true self. It's actually your true self. Yes, your true self <laughs> is the part of you Ooh, that is uh, hmm, here to help you and assist you into unconditional love, into uh, knowing who you are because you get to be a unique being. That's the gift here too. Eight billion of us here. Each one of us are our own unique beings. You can actually just imagine we actually are in our own little universes too. We have our own realities. Yes, there's nobody else that has your same reality. It's actually impossible to have that. There's people in your family, sure, and loved ones that can have very similar things that, that is actually comfortable and helpful. And you get to have your own. And what the gift here is, is that you get to actually uh, hone in and connect in within you when you're ready. And I'll be offering some um, upcoming online courses for this to help help assist you with this is uh, to be able to access parts with you that help you activate and awaken aspects enough that you get to feel right into especially your heart center 
what feels right for you and what doesn't feel right for you. And when you can do that, that's actually you touching into your true self. Your true self is what feels right for you. As simple as that, as simple as that, what feels right for you, right? And you're going to have your own preferences. Like some people like purple, some people like red, some people like blue. You don't have to love all the colors. No, you get to love the colors that, that, excites you that lights you up okay and the ones that you don't like very much okay just put those to the side right this is way so if you are curious if you are rejecting uh your true self a good way to approach this with yourself is to ask yourself uh are there parts of me one that i don't like one that i don't know about myself that i i think i know who i am but i'm not really so sure these are super great questions to ask yourself especially for these times because we are in a massive transformational time right now and we're being called to ask these questions the gift when you ask questions is you can become curious so we talked about those four words to feel to notice to be curious and to imagine if you can be curious and just um, ask yourself wow am i living my full true self here am i living and being uh, all my unconditional love, my truth, my knowingness. Uh, I'm, I'm in every moment experience at the highest level of deep connection and love and whatever is most meaningful for you. I know for me, it's, it's, uh, it's deep connection. I love deep connection. I love, uh, huh, helping to make a positive difference that always excites me and lifts me up. I like whenever I'm around somebody else, I like them to feel good too. That matters to me a lot. Uh, it may not matter to you as much. It does matter to me. And <laughs> and then I love when I'm around other people mm, that are um, excited about something or feeling something that I get to light up to with them too. And I get that. So there's parts when, when you're not feeling good, uh, let's say you're sad, depressed, or you feel shameful or guilty or uh, fearful, you know, worry, all of those denser energies, angry and even prideful. These denser contracted energies are actually the rejection part of your true self. Any of those um, emotions that you are running, it's just you can actually instead of saying rejection, you can we can even say uh, contrast or a disconnection, a disconnection from your true self. And we agreed as humans to experience that. So we literally actually agreed to disconnect from our true self to come and live here as a human. We actually did, believe it or not. And like we talked about as zero to seven years old, especially those first two years when we're in our Delta waves and we are completely getting downloaded with uh, everything around us. We we create the interpretations within our own mind and that operates. It's, it's the subconscious programs running that 95 percent of everything uh, then uh, brings out into your life. And the gift comes in is when you start to notice the things you don't like. That's actually the gift. Can you just imagine that you actually re, re agree? You reject your true self, being born as a newborn baby, receiving all the beliefs from your parents, your siblings, your society, your caregivers, even your religious beliefs and cultural and governmental beliefs, those first seven years of life. And live in that way until you get to a point where you don't like it. So that's the piece we're going to talk about now. What are the things you don't like? Because that's actually here for you because many of those things you don't like uh, are connected to help you wake up, activate, and uh, connect in and embrace your true self. And that's one of the biggest gifts you can give yourself instead of rejecting your true self to actually accept, embrace, unconditionally love, welcome your true self. Discover who that is. Who is even asking yourself, who is this true self of me right now? I do this every day with myself, which is really fun because we actually get to actually keep growing and changing and becoming. So you don't ever have to just be the one true self, <laughs> which is really quite fascinating, actually, uh, unless you want to be. Some people do like to do that and they might just be, OK, this is the little box I'm going to live in. And this is my true self and this is who I am. Oh, is that really who you are? That's a very good question to ask yourself. Or is that just what you agreed to do? So one, you can get accepted by your family, by your society, so that you can, yeah, feel welcomed within a community and included in a community. That's one of the biggest pieces within us if we're rejecting our true selves is because our, many of us are afraid that our true selves will then be excommunicated or or uh, be rejected by others. 
there's actually a fear that we may be rejected by others. And that is a huge one to look at and, and to dive into. So I do offer the gift of Psyche. And what Psyche offers for you it is a tool and a process that helps you actually connect in exactly those things you don't like and then switch them into connecting into your heart, your heart's desires. Well, what do you want instead of that? How would you like to have things in rather than going through that experience? You are the co-creator of your life. What is it you would really love to have instead of these opposites? So let's say something you don't like. Let's say you don't like uh, hurting people, which is actually a really good thing to do, <laughs> to have, to not want to hurt people, right? But you might take it to the extreme. I actually have a friend who has a friend who's going through this right now. He's not happy at all in his uh, his situation uh, with his partner. And yet, but he's not willing to, he doesn't want to hurt her, right? And it was not hurting her. He's actually hurting him. He actually is hurting aspects of himself because he's actually rejecting his true self. Instead, he could listen to his heart. Well, what would I love and desire? Well, I would love for her to feel good and loving and free and me. And maybe they could work together and come back into a heart centered and have a beautiful relationship again. That's one option. The other option is that, okay, maybe they've completed their, their time together. And that can happen for us here on earth. Many of us were programmed to think, no, you have to stay with somebody until one of you dies, especially if you get married. And that was in the religious writings of the covenant of marriage. And the gift is, is uh, you get to question that. Is that really true? Is that what you would love, love to do? If the relationship is growing and loving, absolutely. That would be wonderful. You really wouldn't want to be with anybody else, right? Or experience anything else. But if that relationship is one that's very disconnected, one where they're in their own world or even being harmful, or, uh, or uh, yeah, bleh, yucky with each other, that needs to be addressed. So whew, what we um, the caveat for this to help people is if you might be rejecting in your true self, uh, how you can come back into this again is by uh, welcoming those parts of you that you might have exiled out, out from you, which I actually did myself. And I it's so beautiful to bring all those parts back to me. When you can get to the point where you can unconditionally love all parts of you, even the parts maybe you did something really yucky or was that was hurtful or harmful or just not a good decision or you judged yourself in some way that said, no, really bad. We use that word bad or wrong. That was just where we were. Are you able to forgive yourself and forgive others? Your forgiveness is a huge gateway to go through. It's one of the most precious ways because when you forgive, you are for giving giving of your heart. Yeah. Giving of your true self. Oh. When you can forgive yourself and forgive anyone else for any wrongs ever done to you, you actually free yourself. You really do. And it's a choice and it's a decision. And it takes courage and willingness to be able to do this because at the subconscious level of the mind, when you have been harmed or hurt or punished as a little child. I know for me, I was definitely punished and spanked. Then we we create these meanings and these beliefs, oh, that there's something wrong with me, or I'm not good enough, or I deserve this punishment in some way. Things can get really twisted and distorted. And many of us do actually run those programs at the subconscious level with a lack of self-worth. We actually don't even have our self-worth at the highest level, knowing where the I am presence here experiencing as a divine being in this human form. And that's the gift. The gift is to let go of rejecting um, our true selves. If you're willing to let go of rejecting your true self, to be willing to allow yourself to be you, be your true self. Let your life show you that you are you and let your life be you. When all of this can, can come together, you will be able to vibrate and radiate in the true love of who you are, <laughs> especially getting supports that can help you with this. Many of us were taught to be self-reliant. I certainly was taught that. And I'm, I'm sure many of you listening were too. And it was just the times. Our parents had to teach us that because it was really rough times in the 20th century. Well, we're now in the 21st century. Thank goodness. <laughs> and we get to actually uh, use our feminine side of us. We have a masculine and feminine side of us. The masculine side is the one that's more self-reliant, doing everything himself or that part of us itself. And having a hard time receiving. It's actually a giving and doing and taking action and uh, being quite fast. The feminine part of us is the part of us that is uh, intuitive. It's connect 
directly with our divinity. It uh, it feels everything. It's the emotion. So it's our feeling part of us. Yeah, to see, does this feel right for me to do or not do? And can I slow down? Can I pause? The pause is actually one of the most precious things you can do for yourself. So even with asking yourself, hey, am I rejecting my true self in some way? It's a fantastic question to ask yourself. Where in my life where my, it might be showing up, that it's showing me that I'm doing that. So it could be working in a job that you don't like, but you're still doing it. Well, to pay the bills because you're supposed to. Ooh, big one. Ding, 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 ding. Because that might be, okay, you got that belief that you just have to gut it out. You've got to suffer. you got to work hard. You're not supposed to be enjoying stuff or liking it. No, you're supposed to work hard and provide for your family or do what you got to do. It was a survival strategy that actually is helpful at a time. Certain times, it's actually very important. The gift comes in is are we able to bring in our feminine part of us with that uh, strong drive to work and to provide, which is a very good thing to have. And can you slow down, pause, ask yourself, wow, do I even really like what I do? And if you can admit that, that you're connecting back into your true self again. Yes. So instead of rejecting it, you're actually inviting it in. What feels right for me? Ask yourself, what feels right for you? Say, oh, what feels right? Ooh, well, and, and then you get to you get to feel, you get to notice, okay, I'm not really liking the career that I'm in, or maybe it was good for a season, but maybe it does need to change or what I could, can I do? Then let yourself be curious and imagine, start letting yourself dream again. That is one of the biggest gifts you can do with yourself. And what will happen naturally is you can, you can dissolve that rejection of your true self, let in the dreams come in. The dreams are your true self. You get to dream. You get to be the coder of your life and bring into your life, into this physical form on this earth, what your heart's desires, what excites you. So ask yourself, oh, what excites me? What brings me joy? What brings me fulfillment, a satisfaction? Super, super huge. And just let yourself, you can still work your day job, even if you don't like it. And then on the side, begin to start creating something new because you can create here. You know, create a side business, create a, a, a craft you want to start doing, something that brings you joy. And in time, you can monetize it. And there's so many people out there now that can help help you even with that to get it up and running. And you'll be amazed in these switchings that you'll be able to hmm, embody more of your true self, live from your heart's desires. Yes. And actually uh, serve in a way by offering your gifts, sharing your gifts. Uh Hmm. letting yourself feel and vibrate in the true essence. And, and at the highest level, true essence of ourselves is love and light. And with that love and light, we get to have emotions. So some people, you may, would you love to be feeling more peaceful, happier, <laughs> joyful, yeah. harmonious, playful? Oh, how nice is that? Ooh, right? Having great energy where you can create things, you can offer things, you can assist, you can help, you can receive all these beautiful pieces. You are a divine being here having this human experience. And the moment you wake up and admit that and recognize that, you immediately will begin to start connecting in with your true essence, your true self. And those parts or those bits that are blocked that you are rejecting with that, it is helpful to to have some tools to help you with that. It's literally like uh, hmm, like silver. I have some beautiful silver um, uh, uh wine glasses and they do need to get polished because in time with the wear and tear of the air and things like that it will tarnish and get darker okay i don't have to understand how that works it's just kind of what happens here <laughs> uh, that can happen with us too right it's important to um shine ourselves up you know wash ourselves off clean ourselves up detox cleanse stuff you're going to be uh, always invited uh, into ways of, of opportunities. And you get a free will choice if you want to turn it into a positive opportunity or a negative one, because we get free will choice here. And we recommend a positive one. <laughs> and the gift is, is let yourself feel, number one. And if you don't, meaning like, hey, how am I feeling about this? And if I don't like this, so it could be like a job you don't really like or a relationship that you're in that's not very healthy anymore. Maybe it was at one time, but it, uh, things that might have happened aren't aren't so good <laughs> it could be with you know friends a love partner uh even family members things like that and then begin to notice so what are you noticing about it and what you can do is you can start writing these things down write down what you notice 
you know, let yourself capture it if you can, if you feel safe enough to do that. Find a, a dear friend, someone who can hold sacred space for you. And like with for myself, I'm a psychic facilitator. You can actually, uh, yeah, go on my website. We'll show that at the end uh, where we can have a session together. And you get to actually be brutally honest with yourself, which is one of the best things you can do for yourself. And allow yourself to connect back to your true self again by dissolving any kind of rejection or any kind of pushback or disconnection from the true essence of who you are. And for most people, it's because of fear. Fear of being accepted as your true self. That's one big thing. I agree to actually experience this rejection experience. And it's based on many of us being born in the fear energy or around the fear energy a lot. And then when fear is is all around us or embodies us or starts to run the programs at our subconscious level of the mind. It's all about survival. It's all about, I have to survive. And many times with survival, you'll do a fight, flight, freeze, or fawn, which are four reactions that, that uh, your subconscious mind will literally release the hormones and your nervous system will kick in for that. Even just talking about this, you might be feeling stuff in your body, which is actually really great. Notice it. Notice what you're feeling. Let yourself be curious and begin to imagine a positive new way for yourself. It's one of the best things you can do. Yes. So just imagine if there might be a part of you that's afraid of fully accepting your true self, fully being your full self here, and that you give yourself full permission to be in that freedom of allowing yourself to be your own unique, unique way. Well, then you might have to say no to some people. You might have to have clear boundaries. You might need to break up in relationships or leave a job. You may need to move. There may be some big changes that may need to happen. And that's scary for people. It is. Some people are, many people are very resistant to change. They're like, no, I'll just keep staying the same way. And then we do coping skills. I know for myself, I used avoiding. That was like denial or avoiding was my coping skill. Many other people might, um, you know, or, or you lose yourself. I did that too. Into others, I would just focus on everybody else and didn't even focus on my own individual needs that I had. Others will be more like indoors, where they just hunker down. They don't think anything's going to happen. Nope, I can't do that. Nothing's going to change. I'm just going to wait for the the storm to blow by. A lot of times, their whole life blows. By. Yeah. Some people may actually get feisty and get aggressive or get very rigid and try and control others or their situation very strongly. These are just survival coping strategies. And the gift is, is you can actually master these and rise above them and allow yourself to be in the present. Connect back to your true self again. Accept your true self. Yes. So with Psyche, we offer, which is super potent and powerful, is a way to actually address any secondary gains. You may have a part within you that it might be serving in some way to not be your true self. And that would be a great question to ask yourself. How, how could that be serving me in some way? How is that helping me in some way? Maybe it is a bit of protection or a bit of hiding, a bit of, oh, people don't really see me or uh, they, they I, I'm acting the way they want me to act. Many of us will do that. We um, put on different faces, almost shapeshift, right? Turn into how, what will help them feel comfortable or, or what they want instead of letting yourself ask yourself, what do I want that is good for me and for all? Yes, you are meant to do that. And this is your right to do that. You actually have a right to do that. And we encourage you to do that. Because actually when you do, then you're going to encourage other people to also do that. And what a great gift that is. Yes, because that is the ripple effect. Hmm. So just imagine if you can connect into your heart, get into how, what feels right for you and say, oh, Yes, if I did have to make a, a change like leaving a relationship or uh, or a job or even moving, hmm, what would be important for me to believe, what would be for, important for me to know that can help me with this? And that's exactly what a psyche facilitator helps you with. And you literally get to change that at the subconscious level of the mind, literally within minutes. It's a very fast operating system and it's long lasting. It stays with you because once you upgrade your subconscious belief programs, so one could be, wow, it's actually good and safe for me and for all to make this change now. Oof, wow. Yeah, I am safe. That's a big one. And that's what I have actually cultivated back into me since I was born where I didn't feel safe. I do feel safe now. I know I'm safe and secure. And if anything uh, comes up that might be like, ooh, testing me about my safety, um, I'm like, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Yes. I'm grateful because I did go to the workshop and learn Psyche. And that's what we, uh, we're going to offer at the end. 
that you can do this too. You can use this for yourself and you can actually help others too, especially using it for yourself. That um, if, if anything comes up where fear comes up, and especially like lack and scarcity, that's a big one for us. Many, many people will stay frozen and, and, and instead of embracing their true selves, they, they stay rejected to their true selves uh, because there's a bit of lack scarcity energy that is um, that they're afraid of, you know, afraid of being homeless or afraid of not being able to take care of themselves, things like that. Uh, those are pieces that you can work with with using it's like, hey, which is so precious because once you can um, hmm, transform the, any of those fears about lack and scarcity and you re-engage in with you, you are connecting with your true self because your true self is abundant. Your true self is connected to all. Your true self is actually open to receive all the helps you could ever imagine. And it, it is here, the spirit part of you is here to help you to help you make a new turn, help you begin in a new way, help you embrace your true self. Yes. Uh, one big thing that's super helpful is giving some time for yourself. Most of us are super busy. I did that. I used distraction as a big, uh, hmm, I guess you'd call it a shadow part of me, shadow side part of me, because uh, I would just get super busy all the time going, 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 that, that did distract myself from actually connecting with my true self and that could be a bit of, of that rejection in that way so one of the antidotes to that is to open up some time for yourself and in with psyche you can do we call them balances you can make those changes at the subconscious level of the mind so that it becomes easier for you to um to, to say no to others to to speak your truth speak from your heart and your truth to others of your needs and of your desires of what you would like and want uh, that's going to help you start blossoming into your true self yes and in time when you can cultivate even if it's minutes a day, where you can connect with nature you get to be with you and and go in within yourself and check in how are you feeling what is going on what are you noticing what you have are you okay with welcoming changes in your life even going through really hard times might actually help help you you know grow in resiliency grow in your strength grow in your power and knowingness of who you are and these are all important pieces uh to go through <laughs> like uh, many uh, entrepreneurs or successful entrepreneurs will say it was uh, there are many failures that actually helped them become successful because when anything happens like a door shots or something's blocked or you, you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve you always have a choice in how you respond if you're going to be self-critical with yourself beat yourself up talk yourself down shut down quit okay well then you're going to get the results of that the gift is is when you can notice it let yourself feel <laughs> notice it and then become curious of what this is here for you for because when one door closes another one opens up and where is that opening door? So maybe that this thing wasn't supposed to happen so that you can move in a new direction to live in a new way. One, connect with your, your true self, which is one of the best gifts you can give yourself and, and this world and this planet. So it's navigating through uh, life in a way like a labyrinth. <laughs> the gift of the labyrinth is that once you go in, it can seem a little trippy. You can be like, ooh, I don't know. And when I would do labyrinth walks for um, beautiful a connection times with my true self uh fears would come up sometimes i think oh my gosh am i gonna um am i gonna get stuck in here or am i, I don't know where i'm going that uncertainty or fears and the gift is, is in the labyrinth you land in the center which really is the heart center and then when you can come back you come back the exact same way so you can always go in and always go out and that's just like for us in life uh, many times when we might be afraid of, of doing something we are just afraid right we're going to get lost or it's going to turn out bad or we don't we have an uncertainty we don't know what it is so what the gift of the antidote of that is that is to be able to um, easily connect in with your true self within you what feels right for you cultivating and trusting that connection with your divinity connection with your true self so that when you can make a choice it's like yes this feels right i choose to do this and then go do it and when you do you're going to be amazed the synchronicity and the harmony in the doors that open up yes you are so technically the answer is is connect with your true self <laughs> instead of rejecting it that is actually the answer here Woo -hoo -hoo. oh and because when we find out the real reason may just be fear okay then let's find the antidote of fear and the antidote of fear is that you have courage courage is the antidote to fear 
if you can connect into the courage and the willingness to make a change, that's how fear dissolves. Because actually fear is just a stepping stone for you uh, and for each of us to just say, ooh, I don't know about that. Like, is that dangerous? Am I going to get hurt or harmed or things like that? What can I do so it can be safe? What can I do uh, so that I can feel good? So start putting it in the positive. What do I want instead of fear? Wow, I'd love to feel safe. I'd love to feel peaceful. I'd love to feel loved and wanted. I'd love to feel important and and, ha- and begin having a knowingness with that. That's connection with your true self and dissolving the, that fear energy or overlay that then created a meaning of, of rejection within ourselves. And all that is, is just, we make these things up. We make up all the definitions, all the meanings and our experiences. And then we say that they're true, that that's our truth. But is it really? It, it could have been like your parents' truth or your ancestry's truth or your society's truth. So the gift comes in is when you can question everything. Question everything and check in into your heart center. Does this feel right to me? How does this feel and what do I want? What would I like to have? Right. And obviously this is with so that you can do good for yourself and others. That We're not here at all. You don't want to do any harm to anybody or just because you have something good, great happen to you, something bad is going to happen to others. No, that's polarity land. When something good and great happens for you, everybody gets to have it too, because <laughs> we actually are all connected. So anytime you do what's super true for your own self, you are given an invitation for others to do the same. And then that is the positive ripple effect of us opening <laughs> to our true selves, us opening to the love of who we are, and to begin connecting in with our with our a great brilliance that you actually have within you. You have a brilliance within you. You have a knowingness. You have a purpose. You have gifts and tools and uh, ways about you that, that are needed here in this life. And we are grateful for you for being here. Uh, when you can when you can dissolve any rejection of this true self, of this amazing, brilliant, genius aspect of you, of, of what you're able to experience for your own self, your own family, your own society. Uh, right. And then you can can really like literally let yourself fly like a phoenix and open up. What a gift. What a gift you give yourself. What a gift you give others. And uh, it's here for you. It's all in your divine timing. So you're the one that gets to decide. If you're listening to this talk, then that means there might be something here, which is actually super huge. So we welcome you. Absolutely. Because the better question is, what are you waiting for? Or why not? What's holding you back? Right? Oh, could be that fear. Yes, it sure could be. <laughs> afraid of being, you know, rejected. Afraid of, of uh, not being loved or liked or afraid of hurting people. All of those are made up in our minds. Let ourselves go back into our hearts again. Okay. Connect in with what feels right. And you have that answer within you to what feels right. And then allow yourself to go begin taking steps for that. And one may be like we're going to offer is to come learn Psyche for yourself or have a private session with me. We embodied uh, ways or uh, interpretations, judgments about ourselves where we may have thought there's something wrong with us or or I'm not good enough. And, And then what happened is that we end up becoming people pleasers. Uh, trying to help help everyone else be okay. And instead of connecting into our true selves and doing what feels right for our own selves. So one of the biggest gifts here is, is you can change this. If there's any part of you that's a people pleaser, any part of you that is self-critical of yourself, that's judging yourself, that's that's holding you back or limiting you in any way, that there's an answer for that. You can actually get some great help that can help you exactly with this. Psyche is one of the most powerful tools on this planet right now that can help you with that. I'm one of the certified Psyche instructors that helps teach you how to use this for yourself. One of the most potent things you can do for yourself. I am, and I also am a Psyche facilitator. So if you want to have that support, which is also super helpful and huge too, with you making those changes. So you can let go of being a people pleaser, let go of that self-criticism, completely end it, and then in, and then put in, hey, I talk great to myself. I love myself. I am connected with my true self. Instead of rejecting myself, I love my true self. I love who I am, and my life shows it. My life shows my best self. I am my best self uh, by being me, being me, feeling me, and, feel, and doing what feels right for me. When you can land into that, you'll be amazed how much uh, enhancing and, and better your life will become, how much happier you'll become, uh, how you'll be able to get yourself unstuck. This is potent for you. So I recommend you go to my website, Ignite and Heal Your Life. And that's igniteandhealyourlife.com. <laughs> so igniteandhealyourlife.com. 
And when you go there, you can click on services. That will be for the private sessions that you would like to have. And then if you want to come check out the workshops, I'm actually offering online workshops. You'd have to land in by tomorrow to get that. It starts Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where you get to learn from the comforts of your own home. Yes, you do. This tool called Psyche that helps you reprogram your subconscious mind from negative to positive, from limited to expand it from rejecting your true self into accepting your true self and, and loving yourself. I'm also teaching an online course in November, November 8th. So if this one this weekend is too soon for you, uh, get your spot for the November 8th one. I also offer in-person Psyche workshops. So in September, I'll be in Tennessee and Kentucky. And in October, I'll be in Indiana teaching. And then in November, I'll be in Florida. So look on my website for that, igniteandhealyourlife.com, and see if those dates work for you. If you like uh, working with yourself and others and being in, in person, it's um, really fun to do that too. So you get to do both. You can do one or the other or both. Some people will start with the online and then go to the in-person, or you can just come to the in-person, whichever you prefer. You'll know the key comes in is if something doesn't feel right for you and you want to change it and you'd like to have a tool that helps you do that, we welcome you to learn this tool. You will be blown away. Dr. Bruce Lipton is one of the cell biologists that absolutely loves Psyche because it absolutely helped him transform his life and helped him launch his books, Biology of Belief, Honeymoon Effect. And he's he is helping thousands and thousands of people across the world. So, And he actually understands the science behind it and teaches the science behind it. So in the online workshop, you actually have a whole video um, from Bruce Lipton right for you um, to learn all of that if you like more of the scientific stuff which is really awesome. So we appreciate that. Uh, I'm forever grateful for the gift of Psyche. Uh, it has helped me tremendously. And then there's, there are beautiful things. You'll find the right tool for you. So we want to honor you for that. I mean, I also love breath work and sound bowl healing, plant medicines. And, and I'm also creating some new material coming that I will um, share soon for about that too. But right now, the key piece is, is to ask yourself, if you can ask yourself, hey, am I rejecting my true self? Am I limiting myself from being my full true essence here, full true self. And if you are, hmm, ask yourself, am I ready to receive the help that can really help me with ending that rejection, with dissolving that, with, with being done with that, and instead accepting myself, loving myself. And uh, you get to do this for yourself. Yes, you do. And your true self. And then really discover and let life be so exciting because it's meant to be. You're meant to be excited about even discovering your own self and what you like and what turns you on and what, what gets you excited and what brings that uh, huh, fulfillment and satisfaction within you. Uh, we are here to live fully, to love fully, to experience fully. And we invite you to make sure you have the, the, the appropriate tools for yourself that can help you with doing that. Give you a whole bunch of, oh, nurturing and nourishing. I'm also offering a retreat <laughs> the first week of September in Michigan. If you want to check that one too, that's a little extra thing I'm offering. So uh, whatever's right for you, we want you to, uh, we're here. We're here. I love it. I love to uh, uh, love life fully. I love that I have reconnected back with my true self. I'm forever grateful. And I get to, and I was able to let go of the people pleasing and the self-criticism. Now, how amazing is that? Yes. And honor everyone for their journey. You have your journey. We each have our own journeys. Uh, the gift comes in is when you want to ask yourself, well, how long are you going to keep staying the way you are? How's that going for you? you know, is, is it bringing a lot of positives for you? And if it's not, whoa, well, would you like, would you like to have new positive things come in for you? That's a big question to ask yourself because you get to, you're the co-creator of your life. You're the only one stopping yourself. And it's only the limiting beliefs at the subconscious level of the mind that are doing it. So how about you go either experience with the private session or come to a workshop to learn how to use this tool called Psyche uh, so that you can uh, yeah, free yourself, liberate yourself, let yourself fully be connected with your true self so you can share your amazing, beautiful gifts. And uh, we honor you for that. And we're, we're so grateful uh, that you're here listening to this talk. Uh, may, it, may it bring a positive influence to you and uh, let you say, hey, I'm going to connect in with my true self. Perfect. Then connect into your heart. What feels right? Go live in that way. Go do that way. And if anything's blocking you or preventing you from living in that way, right, come, come receive this tool uh, like Psyche and... Uh, receive all that you are meant to, to help yourself blossom and live fully here. So I am 
I am Ahana, and people call me Mary Mazer here. <laughs> this is Change Your Funk to Fun because it is just funky stuff when you can realize it, when you can shift anything from the really harsh, horrible, suffering pain. When you can get to the level when you can see everything just being a bit funky, then how, what a gift. And the next level up of that octave is let's, how about we turn that funky stuff into fun by taking off that K. Take off that K, funk becomes fun. And the gift is with psych K, K is the key, the key to unlock your personal power. That is everything. Unlock and activate your personal power, remembering your true essence. Connect with your true essence, your divinity essence within you. Let yourself go live from your love instead of the fear. That's the gift we're, we are offering for each and every one that's ready. And, and I, I believe you're ready. When you're ready, we welcome you. <laughs> you have a beautiful day. And until we uh, connect again next week, aho.